Recently, it's really been getting into interactive web applications. Before, you used to have outputs of GIS to be maps. It could be paper maps, maybe a PDF map, but static maps, not very dynamic. Now, with the capability of the last 10, 15 years or so, you're able to set up applications, and really easy at this point, to give people the idea, the, the ability, rather, to dynamically explore things themselves. They can turn things on and off. They can, they can check things out. They're not just stuck with one static view of things. And so virtual Fairfax, our 3D GIS allows you to do that. But we have, I think we just looked at over 80 different web applications out there for both the public and staff to use. That really is kind of democratized GIS. You don't have to be that specific trained individual and take you know 30 hours of training to understand GIS, that it's intuitive. It's out there, people get it, and they can find what they want with that lunch. You may be shocked to know that um, I am actually a political science major. Um, I have no background in GIS at all. I never thought I would. The only background I've ever had was in high school. I did take uh, geographic systems. This program truly has been a yes kind of program. Everything I've wanted, the answer has been yes, we can make this happen. I have a big project to put together a fly-through of the district. Well, it actually shows current uh, conditions and then the future developments that's gonna happen in our area. With the software we have available in the county, which is Virtual Fairfax, we were able to go in through the back end and add a little bit of the 21st century by using software that's available to all citizens in the Fairfax County uh, area and that goes live in front of residents who show up to the town meeting. And this past 31st town meeting was actually the most viewed town meeting and most attended town meeting. We've had about 400 residents who participated and we had about 500 views online on Facebook Live and people got to witness um, the Virtual Fairfax software being used. Another thing we have here in Virtual Fairfax, which is fairly unique, is the ability to take people on tours. So you can actually take tours of anything we want to show off in a fly-through like fashion in that 3D, six degrees of motion to give people a good perspective of what you want them to see. So we can go in here, we can see, and we can actually look sort of like a video game, flying around, panning around, uh, moving around this way, that you can really get that immersive experience that other type of applications, certainly normal map applications, just cannot provide. So people feel like they're there. They get a sense of what's going on in Fairfax without having to leave their living room. A popular issue that happens when people are looking at new development, a lot of people that are nearby are very worried about tall development because they're going to say, I don't want that tall building near me in my backyard because I'll be in a shadow all day. I don't want to be in the shadow of a building. I like my sunlight. We actually have a tool in here using these building models to tell you if that's true or not. The first view that I'll show is the view from historic Huntley House looking uh, southeast toward the Hibla Valley proposed development. And I modeled some 3D trees here to better explain to county supervisors who are elected officials in Fairfax County, as well as the public, what LIDAR is and that these groups of points are actual height measurements of uh, buildings, the ground, trees, and everything else. And these two trees in particular, as well as a few others, were what we thought would do the screening. So to better explain what those points were for those trees, I modeled them and then drew what these are lines of sight right here. So what the green means is that the project is visible to a point and then the red beyond those trees says that you can't see the project from this origin because it's blocked. And every one of these blue squares here represents a point of obstruction where along that line of sight uh, that your view is blocked. Also you have other agencies uh, like Office Community Revitalization. They are in charge of looking at different areas of the county that have been designated and try to revitalize them, redevelop them. And this is really an application made for them. So we actually created a bunch of 3D uh, building models specifically for those areas, which I'm happy to show, and that they are able to see all the existing environment as it is and then plop in those proposed developments uh, in there so people can see how it mixes with the real environment. Not an idealized environment that maybe a architectural rendering might give you, but the real environment as the real buildings really exist with the imagery as it looks like from above and from the side, and they can see how it meshes or doesn't mesh with that environment. We have the fire department does their fire plans. We have Economic Development Authority, which is in charge of finding uh, buildings for people to come move big corporate campuses or smaller businesses here to the county. All the, most, all the commercial buildings are in there in 3D as a building model, textured, and people can give you a great perspective without having to go to Fairfax County to see the kind of buildings they can look at, kind of plan their visits and use it that way. 
Uh, we also have even Department of Family Services will use it to, to find uh, a lot of information that some of the integrations we built into virtual Fairfax. Um, police have used it even for tactical reasons, if, uh, for the Department of Code Compliance for tactical reasons. So if they're going on to look at a property, they want to plan how they're going to approach the property, uh, maybe to serve a warrant or do some type of operation, they can actually see this virtually right there. So it's, again, it's far beyond just the land use planning that initiated the project, that people really seized upon. Once they see it, they came up with ideas that we never even thought of, but they looked at that technology and it was obvious to them and took it there.